Well, good evening, folks. Welcome back to the farm again. Thanks for joining us. I'd like to tell you that it's a beautiful day outside, but in fact, it's, well, it's not beautiful and it's not daytime. It's nighttime and the weather is just rotten outside. It's just gone up and then straight back down. So it was beautiful. We had two, three days of just gorgeous weather, like practically t-shirt weather. As you can see now, the big coat has made its way out. So it's gonna dip down to minus 14 Celsius tonight. It's been snowing pretty much all afternoon, evening, and it looks like it's just about quit here. But yeah, it's gonna get chilly, chilly. Anyways, as I said, I really appreciate you tuning in. The folks that tune in every day, they're just, it's absolutely magical. I really appreciate all the comments, the likes, the, you know, the suggestions that you have. It's fantastic. It helps us get better. It helps other people in the homesteading community get better. Keep it up. Uh, usually you'll see a video from us every day and, and the folks that, you know, do watch every day have kind of caught on to a thing that there's been a few days here in the last two weeks that that actually hasn't happened. And so what's been happening is, well, a combination of two things actually. So a very busy work schedule and, uh, and some really poor internet connection. I don't know what's going on. Our upload speed, rural internet is not good to begin with, but now I think with some adverse weather conditions, you know, some fluctuations, aliens, I don't know what it is. Anyways, yeah, rural internet is very, very unreliable. So it was a couple of days actually the, uh, the upload took like almost 18 hours to occur. And so it gets onto YouTube, but it doesn't get shared on our Facebook page just because, you know, we're, we're already onto the next day's video kind of thing. So yeah, don't, don't be scared. Go back, check out the YouTube channel and, and you, you'll see those videos are there. They're just, you know, maybe, you know, maybe only have 17 or 24 views or something like that because they haven't, you know, got out to our social media platform. Anyways, enough of that nonsense. What are we working on? Um, I'm in the shop tonight. I just finished up mixing up some food for the dogs, the chickens, the sheep, all that stuff. This week is hardcore prepping, meal prep, right? You know, not because I'm going to the gym, definitely not. No, it's meal prep for the animals because we are actually gonna have a much needed couple of days away. It's Carmen's birthday coming up. And, uh, you know, honestly, as I said, we've had some busy st stuff going on at work and it's time to just put the cell phone away, put, you know, all the day-to-day the -day responsibilities just kind of, you know, off to the side for a little bit and just have a couple of days as a family. So we've actually uh, booked a cabin out in Jasper and we're gonna have a couple of days in the mountains, kind of secluded off the grid and uh, unplugged from the matrix, so to speak. So we're really looking forward to that. But what that does mean is that up front, there's all this prep work that's gotta happen in order for us to be able to skip away for those few days there. So if we're gonna have people come in, you know, to make sure the chickens are fed, the dogs are fed, the sheep are fed, all that stuff, we want it to be as optimized as possible. Now, optimized for me, when I get up at five o'clock in the morning, I have my routine, but that's not gonna be the case. We're not gonna ask anybody to come here at five o'clock in the morning and do the flight of the bumblebee to make sure everything's done before six o'clock to go to work. That's not gonna happen. So we wanna make sure that everything's prepared so that you know when they do come, things are simple, You know, it's fairly intuitive, and there's not a whole bunch of roadblocks for them. So that might be something as simple as, you know, running the tractor out, making sure everybody's got a round bale. You know, we, you know most of the, the groupings of animals will put two weeks of feed out at a time. So, you know, if they've got two weeks of feed out, we know they're going to be good for three, four days. Um, what's the other thing? So daily rations for things like chickens, right? Because we can't put two weeks worth of feed out for the chickens. They get a daily ration. So it's making sure that, that those buckets are lined up, ready to go. So that all that, all we got to do is basically dump their bucket, check their water, feed the dogs, and out. Anyways, the big reason for getting away for a couple of days really comes down to, you know, two things, stress and burnout. That's really what it is. You know, with, uh, with all the day-to-day -day comings and goings and obligations and requirements that you have to meet, uh, it, it can really eat your lunch. And so a couple of days away just to hit the reset button, get refreshed, get re-energized, and come back and, uh, and just go after it with excellence is, is all we require. So first order of business, you will get away for a couple of days and then we're gonna come back and uh, I don't know if I really wanna promise this, but this, this pile of nonsense in the center of the shop is gonna make its way into Chaos Corner, which will subsequently no longer be known as Chaos Corner because it's gonna be organized. It's gonna stay organized. At least that's what my wife tells me it needs to happen. But I don't know. We shall see. Second order of business, and I've been talking about this for quite some time. 
but it's now it's now March, and we got to come on, let's get after it. We got to build some chicken tractors. So April 28th, we're supposed to have 75 Cornish Cross meat chickens coming, and uh, so they're going to spend probably three and a half to four weeks in the brooder and then they're going to be out on pasture for the remainder of their life last year we ran some we, we went longer than eight weeks i think we went uh, 10 maybe 11 weeks so we got them a little bit bigger you know we're not really into the the you know the the four pound four and a half pound five pound birds we wanted to get some eight nine ten pounds we found that having them outside in the chicken trackers made that they got a little bit more exercise and maybe they didn't gain quite as fast as opposed to maybe maybe they would experience in confinement. We're also feeding a conventional grain ration as opposed to a high protein, high fat ration. So that did keep them a little bit leaner. But overall, I, th I feel that that you know, contributed to a healthier bird in the long run. Nobody had a heart attack. Nobody was so fat they couldn't walk. So it was, you know, all in all, it was a good, it was a good experience. Anyways, it's getting to be, it's gotta, well, I don't know. It's gotta be after 10 o'clock at night now for sure. So that's our reality, work a full-time job and then come home, do chores till it's late, 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 and then uh, hopefully get a few hours of sleep and then get back at her. So I'm gonna let you go for now. I'm gonna go fix up a cup of tea. So I hope you have a fantastic evening. We'll see you tomorrow.